Hey, Fleetviet Runners, this is Garrett McLaughlin back again with another video. I want to talk a little bit more about the calf today. As we all know, as you run, increase your mileage, the calf's getting extremely tight. So if you're already working on your foam rolling, self mile fascia release, your, your flexibility or your mobility exercise to loosen the ankle and the calf, there might be a better solution uh, or, or strategy to help combat tightness. Um, one thing we need to make sure is as you increase mileage, do you have the strength and the endurance in the calf to withstand that mileage or are you feeling tightness because that calf is just being overworked and it's fatigued. If that's the case, building strength and endurance is important, but also making sure we're maintaining the right amount of flexibility through there to release some of that stiffness and that tension. So what I like to do is actually a calf raise from a deficit. So if you are at your home, you're using a step, you're at the gym, you're on a plate or some kind of machine where you can elevate the body, okay? What we're gonna work on, if we're working on both, both calves at the same time, they're both feeling tight and restricted, um, what we can do is actually go into a calf raise, so again, more strength, endurance. But if you notice as I go down, I have more motion to sink down towards the ground. My heels are lowering more. That is the deficit that I'm using to eccentrically lengthen the calf. Eccentrically lengthen means I'm contracting the muscle as it's lengthening through the full range of motion. So going up here, concentric, going down is eccentric. That is the motion that if we really focus on a slow eccentric contraction, we're using that muscle to contract, but also slowly lengthen and control ourselves, which can develop some really good strength as well as flexibility. So a very simple way to do it is from two feet. If you need to isolate one side or the other, you can go a two to one approach, which is up with two, shift, and then lower on a single leg. If we're trying to work on more flexibility on one side, if you notice one side's always tighter than the other side, you can shift. Or you can go just straight single leg heel raises or calf raises. Okay, so that is a strategy right there to help really build good strength and endurance, but also while thinking about and focusing on flexibility, because as we know, releasing tension, making sure we're not always so tight and restricted is important as you start to increase mileage to help really offset injuries and make sure you're performing well.